Hey lot of boys and girls and welcome back to this brand new video and this is how we're going to show you how to create a simple and really cool jQuery slider actually image slider only using jQuery really really easy to do have fun watching the video right now and let's go we begin in this index.html as you can see I just included a script here the main.js and in the main.js we're gonna do the magic and we have the style here a style sheet styles.css uh, where we're actually gonna style it but I'm not gonna show you the style part I'm just gonna show you the HTML and JavaScript part here actually the functionality of all that slider all right here we go we have the index and HTML let's begin by writing some basic HTML stuff so for the beginning we're just gonna create a slider with the uh, diff with the idea of slider here of course and inside we're gonna make um, uh, a tag which has the href of uh, shop only so that it will not lead to any other page and actually we give it a class here um, of let's say for example uh, control minus uh, next and we're gonna do the same for um, here control minus previous so we have two controls here and actually inside that slider we're gonna create a list with all our um, slides. Uh, actually, it's a basic list here. I'm um, just gonna do um, a list item and we're gonna say, for example, let me call it slide one. And of course, let's take four slides here right now, three and four. And actually, um, I'm gonna save it. As you can see, now it looks like this. We have here the next and here the previous view. I'm actually gonna close that. Um, and here are our four slides. To make the changes more visible between the slides, I'm just gonna add some style here. And I'm gonna say, for example, that we change the background to, I don't know, let's say, for example, something like a little bit darker here. Actually, more darker. Let's take this. Uh, let's take this. It's Come on, here you go. Yeah, that's okay. And uh, actually, we're gonna do the same for the last one. All right, actually, that's basically our slider here. We're gonna, of course, change this with check regulator. And uh, actually, we can go do one more thing because we wanna enable the option of auto slide. And that's what we're gonna do by creating um, a diff container with the slider option class. And inside, we're gonna take an input. Uh, of type is equal to checkbox and we're gonna say id is equal to let's say checkbox here as well it's okay for uh, our reason here um the hell is going on checkbox here we go and then we're gonna say it's a label and uh, of course we need the label for the checkbox um you can say, just say auto slide for example and yeah basically that's all the html we can do we're gonna save this and um, we're gonna find the option of auto slide. Um, where is it? Where is it? Here we go. Here it is. Cool. Um, let's go to the main.js and begin with the magic here. Um, first things first, I included jQuery in uh, my HTML with the CDN. So I can use jQuery here. So we begin by um, asking the script if the document is ready. And we're gonna do function here with the dollar sign. And actually, what we're gonna do if the script is ready, we're just gonna put in all our stuff here. So let's begin with the um, taking our checkbox. And all right, now let's let's just begin with one more thing. Let's begin to get some variables. So we can, for example, say that we get the slide count. This is equal to um, we're gonna take the uh, slider at all, the ul and the allies, and just count them. Um, yeah. Uh, and then we're just gonna say the slide dot width is equal to, um, and here we're just gonna take again the slider ul ally, and gonna take the width. And we're gonna do the same for the height here. We're just gonna remove this and exchange this. And actually here hate. And in the last thing, what we're gonna do is we're gonna say slider. Um, let's say uh, ul with is equal to slide count multiplied with slide width. 
All right. Uh, now what we're gonna do, we're gonna change the CSS here inside that. And we're gonna take the slider again, of course, the ID. And what we're gonna do is we're gonna say CSS. And inside this, we're just gonna say that the width is equal to a slide width. And the height is equal to slide uh, height. There it is, slide height, here you go. All right, as you can see now, the slider has only the width and the height of a slide, of a single slide. So if you make the slide item bigger, the slider itself will be bigger as well. And of course we have to do something for the UL inside the slider. And here we just can exchange the width of that. And yeah, actually it has no height here in this case. Uh, we can save this, I think. Actually we need to put in here in the next, uh, put in this, in the previous, we need to put in this, of course. Don't forget this. All right, and now we're just going to create some uh, some functions to make it move to left or right. Really simple. We just need to say function move left. Here we declare that as a function. And actually, what we can do, we just take again our slider, of course, the ID of our slider, and take the UL inside. And we're going to animate that with jQuery. jQuery has some cool animation functions here. And what we're going to say is we're going to say left is equal to dot plus slide width. And of course, um, this will take 200 milliseconds. And of course, we can animate the function here as well. Oh, wait, I made a mistake here as well. And what we're going to say here, what will happen in the animation is that the slider, you will, the last child is equal to prepend to um, slider um, ul and also we're just going to say that the ul here um, is going to be has going to be a css of left and here we go with nothing okay that's the function move left and also we need something for the function um, move right so we're just gonna copy that and gonna exchange this to move right. And actually it's basically the same, but here we're gonna change that to minus slide width. Um, the animation time is the same. And the first child, that's everything the same here right now. Um, we got just gonna change the direction here, basically. And of course now we need to bind that function on the buttons here. So what we need to do is we need to take that button. So we're gonna just say A and with the class of control minus uh, pref. And here we're just gonna say, uh, let's take that on click. And we're gonna do a function. And the function we're gonna do is we're just gonna call the move left function. All right, and we're gonna do the same here, of course with the um, next and of course here you're gonna do move right so let's check that out if it works you see slide four here slide three slide two slide one slide four and actually the numbers are weird here um let's check out what i forgot um i think in the beginning we need to do something here in the beginning, we just need to take the ID of slider and you will apply a last child. And we need to prepend to slider you will. And also, um, I think we should take here um, a margin margin left of minus slide width so maybe it should work right now let's see we got four here again why do we get the four here that's not how it works we messed up uh, if we move right we don't need to take the last child we need here to take the um, first child all right i got one more thing of course um here move right we need to change that as well here to uh, of course to append not prepend 
prepend means we're gonna do it uh, in the beginning and append means we're gonna do it in the end so now it should work really really well yeah it does cool uh, one more thing here we can do I can just gonna take the um, the checkbox here with the ID uh, checkbox and actually we're gonna do the uh, on change event uh, what we're gonna do is we're gonna take the function uh, what we're gonna do we're gonna say that we uh, set the interval um maybe let's say a timer of three seconds and uh, what we're gonna do just we're gonna say move right we're gonna call the function move right so uh, if we make auto slide you will see that every three seconds the slide is going changing to the right side and um, yeah i think that's a pretty pretty simple slider all you have to do here to change it is to um, add some more items here um, yeah you can also add images inside you can instead of right slide here you can uh, add an image really simple really easy to do so i hope you guys like this video if you like the video please subscribe to my youtube channel if you want to see more hope to see you guys in the next video bye